Hello LinkedIn enthusiasts. This is Anuj and today I want to show you how you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator more effectively in 2020. This is the end of the year and I've been trying to find some really good videos on how to do the Boolean search but most of the YouTubes, you, most of the videos you found on YouTube are usually outdated. They're like seven years old, two years old or maybe even 10 years old. But today I want to show you something which will really help you target the right types of clients that you're going after, right types of prospects that you're going after, and do it effectively using something called the LinkedIn Boolean search. And uh, I'll cover some of the basics also, like how to use these filters right here. But the main emphasis of this video is on how to do the Boolean search, which will get you find the exact type of prospect that you're looking for. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First of all, why is it important for you to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, I'm not affiliated by LinkedIn by any means, but as you might have noticed, LinkedIn limits its search on its regular account to a minimum. Like after a few days, you can't search for more than three people at a time. So they want you, they want you to use the LinkedIn Sales Navigator account. And also it's more accurate in terms of the targeting, the searching, and it really helps you get to that ideal prospect that you're trying to target. And you can, as of today, November 16th, 2019, you can target up to, you can connect with up to 75 or 100 prospects a day with no problems. And you have to do it manually. You can't use an automation software there. So watch out for that. So it's really important to get your targeting on point because if you're not targeting the right people, you will be connecting with random people all over LinkedIn, which won't be very relevant to you. So when you send your, um, so when you, try to start a conversation with them, it won't work really well because they are not your ideal prospects. So now we have got the why, let's dive into the how. So first of all, I want to show you um, really basics. These are the basics like advanced search. I want to search for leads. So as you might already know, if you have a LinkedIn Sales Navigator account, there are all these filters which you can use to target your ideal prospect. But I want to put emphasis on one really important thing, which is the title filter. Now, this is where the magic happens because titles are really relevant. Uh, I mean, titles help you get to the ideal decision maker or the prospect you're trying to reach. And I'll explain what I mean by that by giving you an example. So let's say you're going for, let's say you're going for a marketing agency. So first off, I'll start with a really basic example. Let's say you're targeting a founder or owner of a marketing agency. Now go by geography. Where do you want to target? Let's say United States or India, or let's say Australia even. Let's limit it to United States for now. And then these are the basic filters. Relationship, you want it to be a second degree connection. As you might have already noticed that first degree connections are the connections that you have already got in your existing network. Second degree connections are like the people from your first degree connections who are connected to them. So they are your second degree connections and third degree are who are not anywhere near your target. So let's go for second degree connections. And uh, let's go down seniority level. Let's say title you want to target. We want to target a founder or a co-founder or even a partner. So let's say we want to target these three positions. I'll go into a more advanced way on how to do this using the Boolean search in like two minutes, but let me first just get this, get through this in a very simple way. Now it depends on what kind of company you're targeting. So if you are, if you're going after a co-founder or a title, it usually means that they'll be under one to 10 in company headcount or 11 to 50. If you're targeting a company with 51 to 200 employees, it's really a good idea to target the vice president of marketing or the head of marketing instead of going for the founder because they are not accessible and they'll hand you off to them anyway. So since we're targeting a small organization, let's go for this headcount and let's type target co-founder. And as you can see, we've got around this many search results. Now, another thing to note on things LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a lot of results doesn't mean that you're targeting the right people. Usually it gets distorted after a while. So let's let's run the search for a minute here. I'll show you what I mean by that. 
So let's say you've got you've got some great results here, right? You've got the co-founder, founder, what we were exactly looking for, partner, founder. But after a while, it, LinkedIn only shows you 25 people per page. So if you go down and you just move to like nine or 10 search, it's still very relevant. The first few connections are still very relevant. But after a while, what happens is that, let me show you. Now you'll start finding people with different titles like COO or managing partner. We did not, we did not specifically say managing partner, but you'll find CCO, you'll find president, like C, senior partner manager. You'll find, you'll find, you'll start finding people who are not very relevant to the titles you're targeting. And so what I recommend is if you can filter your search down to around a thousand or 2000 search results, it's usually, it usually becomes a very specific targeted list. And it's really a great idea to help you get to those decision makers that you're trying to target. And moreover, even if you get these 15,000 search results, you won't be able to send connection requests to each of them. Like the maximum limit that I've gone to is 2000 connections a month. And that's the maximum. And I had to put in email of people when I wanted to connect with more people because my connection requests were all over the place. Anyway, I'm dig digressing a little bit here, but let's go on to the advanced concept of Boolean search. So let's say again, we want to target the marketing and advertising industry. Oh, let's, uh, and uh, let's say we want to target the title of, uh, let's say we want to found founders and um, owners and maybe partners again. What I'm going to do now is explain to you how the LinkedIn Boolean search works. And it's great. It's like kind of using MS Excel. If you have used it, if you have used this function with parentheticals and um, like different kind of formulas, it's really great. So I'm really excited about this as you can hear from the tone of my voice. So let's go into LinkedIn Boolean search. Boolean search is basically using these things and or and not and using parentheticals and using quotes to find your ideal prospect. Now, why I like the Boolean search is because it helps you target the specific title that you were going for. So for a moment, let's forget about founders, owners, and partners. Let's say you want to target the VP of marketing, or let's say head of sales. Let's go get to it one by one. So let's say you want to target the VP of marketing. Now, you can do it by title, but what I like to do is if I want to find very specific person is I use these functions as Boolean search. So this will, this is how it will play out. Uh, let's say, as I said, I want to find the VP of marketing. I'll put a parenthetical and in quotations, I'll write VP or vice president. And marketing in quotations and parenthetical. So let me just show you what this means. Let's go to the title. I enter. As you can see, there are 153,751 results, which is great. But here's something I want you to notice that the keywords we mentioned VP or vice president and marketing. What I wanted to target was VP of marketing, VP marketing or vice president of marketing. And as you can see, these terms will find you the VP of sales or VP of marketing. Now, this is still a very broad search. So I have to like go to the marketing and advertising industry or whatever industry you're targeting in this case, bring it down to around 1,000 or 2,000 or even 4,000 searches, as you can see. But it's st still not bringing me the exact title keyword I was trying to target. So I'm not still, I'm not getting the VP of marketing or vice president of marketing. So as you can see from the search results, I'm seeing VP sales and marketing and digital marketing advisory board, senior vice president, head of marketing. I want to, I want to find the exact title. I want to find the VP of marketing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another Boolean term, which is not not VP sales or 
vice president let's go for this for a while let's see what the what happens when we do that now as you can notice what i'm finding is there are no more sales vp of sales vp vice president of sales i'm not finding them now i'm finding very relevant people like vice president senior marketing manager vp global acquisition marketing so what the boolean is doing is it's finding the relevant titles and i'm specifically trying to target so when you put quotations around a specific title what the linkedin sales navigator does is it finds you that very specific target so vice president let me show you another example let's say let's change the industry a little bit what should i target let's set the basic geography let's say india and let's say we're targeting the it industry so these are the basic filters that you have to select pre-front before you go into the boolean and uh, forget about companies for a second let's go to the second degree Let's target the title. Let's say now, as you can see, there are 88, 612 um, results I'm seeing, but I want to talk to the founders. I want to talk to the owners. I want to talk to the managing partners who are the decision makers in these companies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Boolean search. So let's leave this for a while. So first thing you have got to do if you what if you are doing a Boolean search is put parentheses and use quotations. So I want to target a founder or or usually is or is like a plus symbol like founder plus and founder or let's say partner or put quotes owner right so if i this is a very simple search boolean search term let's say i put this in the title Now, as you can see, I'm finding the exact founder, partner, and owner in these search terms. You can see founder, CEO, founder, client success head. Now, if I want, if I don't want, uh, let's say I'm finding even in finding co-founder and president. Let's say I don't want to find a co-founder and president. So what I'm going to do is write the not term, not co-founder or president. Let's see how that goes. Ah, as you can see, it's gone now. So all I'm finding now is founder. This, these are the titles that I'm finding. Founder, partner, owner, and I'm not finding any co-founder or president. I'm finding the key decision makers in these companies. I'm just giving you an example here. And these are the results, as you can see, they are very targeted, founder, client success head. I can even filter it down further, like not client success head and not MD, just the founder. If I'm very specific that these are the people I want to target, executive director, founder, founder. And we have turned the results down to like 5,000 people, which is good. And it's like 25, as I told you, 25 uh, people on this page. So even if I bring that back to like ninth page of search result, I'll still find very relevant people who are the exact type of target market. And after a while, I promise you after a while, those searches will start to distort and you'll find all kinds of titles like business exterior partner. These are not very relevant. So you have to watch out for these. That's why I recommend limiting, trying to limit your search down, trying to find a result that ranges around 2000 to 3000 which sell a lot but if you can get that search result to around 800 to 1000 you are good i mean you'll do really specific target you'll be able to target those people very specifically and um there's this to learn more about boolean there's this uh, linkedin boolean tip sheet just google it you'll find it i'll paste it in my browser here So here's it, 
here it is uh, LinkedIn tip sheet it will explain to you how the boolean works in more detail but I guess this is all you need to know before you dive into LinkedIn sales navigator and this is how you find the exact decision makers in the company now this is this uh, what I'm sharing with you is not one size fits all way to target there are other ways to target too like you can search for accounts but that's a totally different topic which I'll cover in some other video because this it will take a lot of time here so this is the way how you search for leads using the LinkedIn boolean search hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions on how to target your ideal prospects using LinkedIn sales navigator peace